Who's the best villain of all time? Some say it's Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Some say it's someone like Bill Cipher or something like that. I, I think of the best villain is that Doofenshmirtz or Christopher Kane. You know, because Christopher Kane. Let me tell you about Christopher Kane. Christopher Kane is not a main villain or anything. He's a villain in the Froggy Fresh universe, but really, who is he? We don't know much about him. Word on the street was James had been living with some old guy named Mr. Kane. Nobody knew much of anything about Mr. Kane, except that James was selling the stolen bikes right out of the old guy's shed. Well, <laughs> we know enough about him. You see, Christopher Kane really caught my interest, especially in the song Push Me. And all that I could say was I tried, my mind tried And when I walked on over to him to pay my last respect He opened up his eyes like he had risen from the dead He said, why didn't you save me? Why didn't you take me? And bring me home and get me clean? Why didn't you make me? What could I say to that? I couldn't say a thing I seen all the pain inside his eyes I could have stopped that That guy playing the piano there? That's Christopher Kane A symbol for my foggy fresh While nobody ever fights Christopher Kane we know that Christopher Kane is really a big part of James' business. Like, I think James lives with Christopher Kane. So Christopher Kane might be like a grandpa or like a stepdad or something. I don't know. But Christopher Kane is an important character. Without Christopher Kane, James would be almost nothing. Let's see exactly what Christopher Kane does. And I'll explain exactly how I know this. Pain, makes a fun trip and is like the housekeeper and is definitely in on the business and helps James make the fun trip and helps James steal the bikes and everything like that I mentioned some before. But it is true. How we know that Christopher Kane makes a fun trip? Well we see at the beginning of the Soul Mike Screen just video we see that they're not being found and going down to some guy's basement while Creeping music plays in. We hear a radio show host like <laughs> try to figure out how this fun trip is made. And one caller seems to know an awful lot. This caller is named Christopher Kane. That's real the end of the call. You are the winner. You can come pick up your tickets downtown at the KWH station. Can I please get your name? My name's Kane. Christopher Kane. And in the in in Soul Like 3, <laughs> Fry Fresh says. Yeah, to old Mr. Kane. Then we headed off to old Mr. Kane's, bumping Dr. Dre about to wreck James Day. Huh. Mr. Kane. Christopher Kane. And I'm thinking, there's not really enough evidence. I mean, is there really any evidence? Like, maybe this is someone related. I mean, we don't really hear Christopher Kane. Like, I mean, we don't really know if. Old Mr. Kane is Christopher Kane. I mean, I sure they sound alike. Like, I mean, they're definitely related. It was not to shut. Anyways, uh, here's the thing, though. In the call, there's a part where Christopher Kane slips up and says that he makes it. And I put him in a blue barrel. And I dump. And that he dump a ball of tears on him. He says, I, they, mmm, interesting, cause it's him. And also, how many old Mr. Kane's, you know? Come on, man. Like, just look at him playing that piano, though. Also, one thing I do want to point out, you may have seen the Christmas movie videos, but I've seen the gifs, and there's one gif where Foggy's excited, and he's doing this hand motion, this motion with his arm. See, that motion of the arms, He's like, it's a symbol of excitement. Probably Fresh does it. But we also know that Christopher Kane does it. So Christopher, so Christopher Kane has the same excitement as, as what, like from melting a child is to, that, something that horrible. It was. So wait, this guy's the best film? Yes, the best. 
He basically confessed his crimes to get Bo Burnham tickets. He risked his whole career. He basically explained how he does it in the third person. A huge risk. He wanted them Bo Burnham tickets. That was on it, home. Also, just looking at the piano. On the side of rope for weeks. If I loved Mike, that's exactly what I would have done. If I loved him like a brother, if I loved him like a son, I'd have gave my own. Yeah, definitely the best character. Bye bye.